Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Um, welcome. Thanks for coming back. Uh, today I'm going to just do a tutorial on how to do these little um, tuck spot booklets for your journal. And uh, actually you could use them for other purposes too. I, I know that I've been heavy on using grommets and using sort of those little um, circles with ropes and whatnot for uh, like you have on policy envelopes and I thought let's do something where someone doesn't have to do any sewing and they don't have to have a crop dial or any of those <laughs> other items. So um, I use my big two inch circle punch and you could use a smaller circle punch for sure. Uh, and then I've used some cardstock, double sided cardstock. And then I've got it so that when it flips down it's got a little booklet and then there's a little pouch right there. And this would be a um, great actually little uh, sort of item for putting a gift card in as well. It doesn't always have to be Christmas themed. So you just, you just, I just kind of pull back a little and then it kind of naturally goes underneath. So there's that one and then there's one. This has got this busy sort of fun floral on the outside. Cute little Christmas scene. And then again, just used it like so. And then here's one that's not Christmas themed. Uh, and this is from a postcard that I got from uh, Wendy Thompson. Thank you, Wendy. And then I just pull it back. Same sort of thing. I haven't put anything in here yet. So that would look really cute in a botanical journal. Before I get started on making those, let me show you how I would use it in a journal. This is my Christmas journal. Um, and let's see. Where would I put it? So I would do something like this. I would I would attach it at the bottom and I would glue here, here, here so that it's a tuck spot back here. And then you can pull it open and you can right here, right on there, uh, etc. So, and then you would just have to pull that back a little. So that's how I, I would use it as a little tuck spot there. So I'll probably, I'll, I'll put one of these in my journal, but um, you don't need to see me do that today. So let's get started. Um, really simple to make. What I've used is a an eight inch long by four inch wide piece of um, double sided cardstock. And you don't have to use double sided if you don't want. It just has to be a decent weight. Uh, and if it's, there's not, no image on the inside, I would probably just ink it up a little bit. So eight inches by four, and then I caught this, this from the same strip on a 12 inch piece of, of cardstock. Uh, this is four inches by one and three quarters. And then what I did is I made some little pads of paper, and these are three and a half inches wide by three inches this way, and that really is all you need. Um, and then you can put as many papers. I wouldn't put any more than six sheets. I think this one has five. Okay, so in order to get started, this is all we have to do. I fold it so that it looks like there's about an inch and three quarters at the top. And you can also look at, to make sure that, put your little pad of paper there to make sure it's going to be long enough. And it is, so I do that very quickly. So that's going to fit. Hi, Leo. Uh, and then I'm going to round the corners just at the top. This is the wee bit that's going to fold over. So I round those corners. I just think it looks a little more finished that way. Now you could use a bone folder, whatever. I, I don't always do that. I have one, but <laughs> it doesn't always get used. Hi, darling. How are you? How are you? You can let me do this tutorial, please? Please? Okay, so now we're really well started. Off you go, Peanut. Um, so then we're going to do some inking. Leo's going to let me do this. No, don't you, don't, no. Don't go in the ink. Leo, no, no, no. That'll be everywhere. So what I do is I ink one edge first. <laughs> Buddy. Come on now. Uh, one inch first of that strip. Oh my gosh, Leo, please. Darling, honey bun, just a second. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Look, I'll give you a back, 
give you a big belly rub in a bit. Oh, wow. All right. Well, it's happening again. I don't know what it is. He's just been the last few days. He has definitely been super needy. So I ink the whole inside, just around all the edges, and I apologize. I know that's boring as all heck, but um, it's all good. It's all good. And then I actually fold this back a little bit just to get a little glue in there. I just like that age look. You have to be careful. Some of the thinner cardstocks don't like you doing that and they will crack. So be very, very careful about that. Okay, Lee. All right, come on now. I can't get angry with you, but I would like to do this tutorial. Seeing as how I'm most of the way through it at this stage. So let's see what have we missed. We've missed this front bit here. It's literally not going anywhere, guys. I was pretty upset this morning. Um, the lady who lives across the street from me who has, I think, eight cats. And there, a lot of them are outdoor cats. And one of them has started sleeping on our back deck lawn furniture, much to Leo's chagrin, and um, because he really just wants to play with that kitty. Okay, come on now, up you get, come on, up you get. Sorry guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lee, I'm so sorry, honey. I know you want to be part of this. So, this is all we need to do. Hopefully Leo will allow me to do this. So I'll get my glue, and the side that has the inking on it, I put my fingers there so that I don't glue that side. And then I just go down like so. Better put the cap on because he literally will take it. And then I'll glue that there, just above where I've inked the fold. And then I'm going to glue this here at the bottom. You can see this little flap comes over, so that's your, that's you don't want to put the paper anywhere near that um, for this particular project. That's just kind of the cue I give myself that I'm working in the wrong area if, I, if I'm close to that flap. So there you can see that there's lots of room for the fold. So we'll be able to go like so. Okay, so we've got that much done. Now I could use, this is one of the little um, tags that I made and I have my video on how I made that in pouches and I could easily use that there uh, but I thought what I would do actually I have another that I've inked already um, so we'll do two and I'll glue my paper in <clears throat> so we will use that one but we will also use an image off of a Christmas card because uh, one of the subbies said try a Christmas card you know, or that would be a great use for old Christmas cards. So that's what we're going to do. So we've got two at the ready. I had already inked that one because I didn't want to bore you. Uh, and so I know I want to try and get that Santa face. Now when I take my two inch punch, I'm not really close enough, <clears throat> but I don't want to, I don't want to get the writing. So I'm just going to trim it like just like a quarter of an inch, that one flying. Okay, so you can see where the S is, so I'm just going to go down a bit, and you're not going to notice it as much. So there. And we'll just very quickly ink that. Leo is now trying to catch that piece of paper that went flying. So that's it for our inking. So we're really ready. Oh, it's not it for our inking. I thought it was, but it's not. Um, I think Santa looks great there. That Santa. And this one there. So I was thinking when I looked at them, wouldn't it be cute to put a little bit of ribbon or something behind them? Just to give it a little more zhuzh. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut off a 
should be on in frame when I do this, shouldn't I? Cut off a couple of pieces of this nice green ribbon. And I know that I'm about a, a, a centimeter or half an inch, a little less than half an inch from the bottom is where my circle goes. So I'm just going to go ahead, without even setting it up, I'm just going to go ahead and put this ribbon down on both so that it'll be, so that the circle will touch it. Like so. Let's see. All right. All right, so we've got that, and I know I want to put, you know, maybe a word or two or something on here. So I know that doesn't look like much yet, but if we put Santa, what you want is you don't want to be any more than a quarter of an inch from where this goes, uh, crosses behind the circle. So I'm just going to hold it at the top and I glue half of it at the bottom. I put my finger at the top and glue half at the bottom. I keep this closed while I put that on. In, I try and center it. Um, it would probably work if it wasn't right in the center as well. And then I'm going to pull that off so that it can dry. And we'll do this one as well. So again, just position it. Leo. Like so. Holding it at the top. And closing the whole the whole thing and I want it like you can see it's no more than a quarter of an inch up there you could put lace behind it you could do all kinds of things so we'll let that dry and I thought wouldn't it be fun you know maybe we could put one of our words on as well so this will require some inking and I do, um, I just type up a bunch of words, Leo, uh, ahead of time. And on my typewriter, that are Christmasly words holly, greetings, mistletoe, snow, all kinds of those sorts of words. And we could put greetings maybe down here. It should be kind of fun. There's no reason not to decorate it, right? Stick greetings down here. I think that just kind of that improves the whole ribbon situation. Me being a little slap happy with the ribbon. And let's pick out I'm going to pick Rejoice for the next one, and I just tear them, and you can tell I don't worry about it being perfect. Um, I just want it to, you know, share the sentiment. Leo, he's knocking stuff around. My goodness, I don't know what it is about. Leo! Buddy! don't know if you could see his paws in, on screen. I certainly could. My supervisor is certainly having a busy day. And let's put Rejoice over here. Yeah, I think that looks really nice too. So those look good. I have a pin. I had uh, a pin with some mittens and I wondered whether or not sticking a pin on might be kind of cute too. Oh, yeah, you have it. oh, sorry. That's the cat. Leo. No surprise there, right? So if I can... I'm at a really weird angle as always. Here we go. And I'm just going to see if I can close that. 
there. Whoa, it worked. It worked. And there we go. So there's some mitts and it says greetings. And then that should be close to being dry. And like so. Now I'm going to put a little bit more glue behind that rib ribbon now that now that we have the um, pin on so that it will lay as we like it as we like it and there she is greetings so we take that we'd open it up and stick a little tag in there I think that's super cute and that was using a Christmas card, and the last one, the other, is using uh, just one of those little tags that I've made. And you, you can see it's nice even without the pin. Um, but that one is really cute. There you go. So that's it, guys. Super simple to make. Um, cats are not required <laughs> for making these. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's like an obstacle course when he's around. So, it's all good. All good. So, I do love my Leo. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I hope this was something you might give a try. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be just for a Christmas journal. Um, but, because that's what I'd been focused on the last little while, I thought that would be fun to do. I really like this one. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. If you have any, have any tutorial ideas, shout them out. I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to hear them. Here, I'll give a little closer up, so you can get a better look at the two we made together. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you next time. Take care. Bye.